Beloved, we are most grateful unto God for bringing us safely home with First Corinthians book, and we are entering straight up to Second Corinthians of Paul writing. Today's chapter for a day is Second Corinthians chapter one. Let us listen to the word of God. Paul. An apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the church of God, that is at Corinth, with all the saints who are in the whole of Achaia, grace to you and peace from God, our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comfort us in all our afflictions. So, and that we may be able to comfort those who are in any afflictions with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For us we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. If we are afflicted, it is for your comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it is for your comfort which you experience when you presently endure the same sufferings that we suffer. Our hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, you will also share in our comfort, for we do not want you to be ignorant, brothers, of the afflictions we experience in Asia, for we were so utterly burdened beyond our strength that we despaired of life itself. Indeed, we felt that we had received the sentence of death, but that was to make us rely not on ourselves, but on God, who raises the dead. He delivered us from such a deadly peril, and He will deliver us. On Him we have set our hope that He will deliver us again. You also must help us by prayer so that many will give thanks on our behalf for the blessing granted us through the prayers of many. For our boast is this, the testimony of our conscience that we behaved in the world with simplicity and godly sincerity, not by earthly wisdom, by the grace of God, and supremely so toward you. For we are not written to you anything other than what you read and acknowledge and i hope you will fully acknowledge just as you did partially acknowledge us that on the day of our lord jesus christ you boast of us as we will boast of you because i was sure of this i wanted to come to you first so that you might have a second experience of grace i wanted to visit you on my way to Macedonia and to come back to you from Macedonia and have you send me on my way to Judea. Was I facilitating when I wanted to do this? Do I make my plans according to the flesh, ready to say yes, yes, and no, no, at the same time, as surely God is faithful. Our word is to you as not been yes and no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, whom we proclaim among you, Sivanus and Timothy and I, was not yes and no, but in him it is always yes. For all the promises of God find their yes in him. That is why it is through him that we alter our amen. To God from his glory and it is God who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us and who has also put his seal on us and given us his spirit in our hearts as a guarantee but I call God to witness against me it was to spare you that I refrain from coming again to Corinth not that we lord it over your feet, but we work with you 
for your joy. For you stand firm in your faith. This is the word of God. Amen.